people think they see a problem in aviation, and many of us share that thought. What is it? There's not enough young people coming into aviation, some say. In fact, that's not correct. I have done surveys about this and have reported on the fact that there are many younger people getting their licenses, but lots of us see the flow of expert pilots leaving the airlines. They've hit their age limits, which was raised once from 60 to 65, and for one reason only. So are there indeed going to be enough young airline pilots coming along? And closer to recreational aviation, are there new enthusiasts coming along that enjoy the kind of flying that we all enjoy? Well, yes, there is. And we're going to meet one of them here today. And I think you're really going to enjoy meeting this young person right here at Sunnet Fun. We're uh, about halfway through the week now, and it's been a wonderful opportunity to be back at air shows. Yes. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm speaking with Jet Neal here, who is, he's a fellow that you need to know a little bit more of because, well, for several reasons. But let me start. You have been a big help to us here in the LSA Mall. That's where we're standing by this uh, handsome FX1. And you have been a great help to us since you were a pretty young lad. And now you're ready to graduate from high school and go on to college. And I'm just so excited that for your future there for you, Jet Neal. And so let's do this. Tell me a little bit about how it was to go to an aviation high school well, right here on the field. Well, going into an aviation high school is interesting because you have other people that share your passion with you, uh -huh. especially flying flying different kinds of aircraft, so you get to share your experience with other people. And their interest. And their interest, too. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh, how about the professors, the instructors? How were they? They were really encouraging. They, they helped me a lot to decide what I would like to do, especially in the aviation field. I'm also taking engineering in the school. Ah, engineering. Yeah. What what kind of engineering are you going to pursue, Jet Neil? Well, I was interested in the aviation or aeronautics part okay. of engineering. I actually got certified on SolidWorks, which oh, is an really? oh, yeah. AutoCAD program for the computer. And it's really interesting to and us. And so in high school, you were able to get a certification for SolidWorks. Is that a right? I guess I didn't know they did that at that level. It looks really complex to me. It, but, it is uh, a complex tool, but it's it? really helpful once you learn how to use it. Is that right? Excellent. So do you think you're going to go into design work or are you going to be a pilot? I think I'm going to stay with the aviation side. I'm going to become a pilot. All right. Now, you're already a pilot. You're not going to become one. You're flying now. Tell us a little bit about what you fly, Jad. Well, uh, right now I'm flying a Flight Star 2SC and a Challenger 2. All right. A great aircraft. Uh, people who watch these videos or know those aircraft right away and they're going to go, oh, cool, he flies one of those. <laughs> Where do you fly that, Jat? I fly it out of South Lakeland Airport, X-49, right here, about three miles from the field. Can almost throw a stone there. Well, yeah. I can't, but maybe somebody <laughs> could. <laughs> and that's where you fly your Challenger and your uh, Flight Star 2SC? Both, both, both aircraft are home base at that airport. So. Excellent. Fly now, you come from an aviation family, too, or at least Dad, I know, is a yeah. pilot of quite a few airplanes. Tell me a little bit about how your dad got started in aviation and what he did to get you interested. Well, my dad got started in aviation back in 1997. He got his first ride in a Quicksilver, and after that he got bit <laughs> by the bug. So he decided, he saw that this kind of aircraft was something that was accessible to everyone. It wasn't something that only rich people could afford ah, so he said I think the affordable I'm gonna, angle yes. yeah i think i'm gonna get one of this aircraft is that right and so what did mom think of that when he made that announcement <laughs> well, I, I, i'm not sure about that part but i wasn't around by then but, yeah. <laughs> but i think so, she liked the idea so you came into the world already in an aviation family yes indeed. all right good stuff now, where are you going to go after you get out of uh, CFAA, which is, I believe it's this year you graduate? This year. I'm All right, so that's really year. cool. But where, where are you going next, Chad? I'm thinking, oh, well, I'm going into the Polk, uh, Polk School System, uh, Polk State College. Okay. Which they offer a really nice aviation program they right do. here in this airfield. So. Oh, they have the facility right here, don't right they? Here, across the street, pretty much. All right, so so you're just going to kind of go down this road right here. Not really, but almost down this almost, road to your yeah. next school. Pretty much. And all of that's that stone's throw distance away from home base. Pretty much. Pretty darn cool, I would say. So, well, I can tell by your big, broad <laughs> smile that you're looking forward to this. Yes, Where do you think it's going to lead? High school is done. College gets done. What's next after that in your plan? Well, hopefully, I, I've become an ATP or a commercial pilot. Okay. And get my license. But I really want to keep flying this kind of aircraft because it's something that I really enjoy. And it 
it, 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 it has a special place in my heart flying <laughs> this kind of aircraft. So you might uh, be willing to fly an airliner around, but this is where your heart stays. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very good, Jet. Thanks so much for talking to us here, You're and I'm welcome. sure everybody will join me in wishing you all the success in the world as you go forward. Thank I think you. you're going right into things at the right time, and if you want to fly airlines, I'm guessing there'll be plenty of room for a bright young guy. Thank you, Dan. Jet, thanks for joining us here at Sun and Fun 2021 in the LSA Mall.